Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and to this new video. Today we are going to talk about our vintage garden renovation project. This has been a very long journey and a very hard work, so I hope you will enjoy it. Um, we are going also to thrift for some outdoor furniture pieces. We will go shopping for new plants. Um, yeah, I've got so many things to tell you, so let's begin. So you all know that I'm very passionate about vintage, but maybe you still don't know that my husband and I are very passionate also about gardening. I think it is lovely to see uh, things grow from a little sprout to the blooming plant. It's some kind of magic and I really enjoy it. So we live in the countryside, very close to Venice in Italy. And uh, since we began to um, live together, we started to make changes outside in the garden. And this is the first flower bed that we made together. You can see that it is very minimalist, but our style has changed so much over the past few years. Uh, you will see it in the video. Then in March 2020, Covid spread it also here in Italy and we had to uh, spend some months uh, closed uh, at home doing uh, smart working and all that stuff. But luckily we could still go outside and do some gardening, so we started another flower bed. In these pictures you can see how this part of the garden has changed over a few months. I have to say that our passion for flowers uh, has grown more and more. We also ordered some plants online. They arrived all stuffed in a box, <laughs> poor plants, but they survived, don't worry. So as I told you, it took us some months to complete this flower bed, but it was worth it because now we have this beautiful area with the maple and uh, azalea and camellias. It's a shaded place, so they are growing very well. In the meantime, we also adopted the small Isotta. She was so cute at that time. <laughs> she was climbing up everywhere. Well, today I'm going to tell you about our latest renovation project um, because at the end of 2020 I bought the small uh, field that is right in front of our garden. We've been dreaming about it for years and finally the owner decided to sell it. Uh, so we couldn't believe it and we were so happy we couldn't wait to start working on it. I only have some pictures of how it was at that time. It was a complete mess, there were overgrown plants everywhere and weeds everywhere. It was like a scene of a horror movie. <laughs> but in the middle of this mess there was an ancient vineyard. It has more than 70 years and our dream was to recover the grapevines and to make it into a beautiful romantic garden with a small pathway with plants on both sides and then a big gazebo with wisteria flowers climbing on it and of course a straight and tidy vineyard. It has been a true adventure. We started to prune the grapevines. It was even hard to recognize them among all these plants and trees. And we asked to my mom and dad for help. Um, we also started to dig and to free the roots from other weeds and plants. We had to cut down and remove some plants because they were too big and overgrown and Isotta was always helping us to monitor the situation. In spring we called the neighbors for some help. We had to till the soil and to cut down many trees. I love nature and trees and believe me, it has been very hard. But the trees were too cluttered and the ancient grapevines need much more light and so this was necessary. Thank you. 
Then we got the poles. These are made of corten, that is a metal that has a rusty surface that gives them this vintage look. The vine grapes started to bloom. In October I collected only a couple of baskets of grapes. Not a very large harvest, but we knew that the grapevines still needed to recover their energies after years of neglect. So the grapes that you've seen are called the green tone grapes. They are very traditional here in the Venetian region. And with these grapes you can produce the green tone wine, which is forbidden nowadays, but you can produce it for a private consumption. That's why uh, nowadays only a few green tone vineyards uh, still survive. And we are happy to continue the tradition and to maintain one of them. This is the wine that the previous owner produced uh, last year and um, yeah maybe we will produce some wine in the next years who knows cheers it is a very strong wine but I like it In January and February, after pruning the grapevines with the help of Fabiana's father, we tried to plant all the poles and to tighten all the wires and we made it! We also decided to prune and to cut down other trees. But every time a life dies, a new one is born. We planted some vine grape branches that will become new baby plants and in a couple of years they will also produce green tongue grapes. It's time to open a passage between the old garden and the vineyard. Here it is, and crossing it has been a great emotion for me. I dreamed about this for over a year, and finally I can do it. Spring is here and the circle of life begins again. It's time to shop for new plants at the flowers market of Noale. This is an event that takes place once a year and we love to have a walk here and see all the new plants blooming. We are also looking for new types of vine grapes to plant in the vineyard. Cos'è? Non lo so. Bella.
And so here is what we have got today. We've got the vines with their roots. We've got to keep them into the water so they don't get too dry. And uh, we've got to plant them in a couple of days, I think. They already have some small leaves. They will become bigger plants. This is like a garden orchid. The flower will be beautiful. And here we have the clematis, that is a plant who likes to climb on a net or on the fence of your garden. And then the wisteria, we've got a couple of wisteria. One is pink, the other one is purple. And then mandevilla, which has beautiful, which will have beautiful pink flowers. We've got to be patient. And here we have some bulbs. I will uh, put the pictures of the flowers. Um, Saponaria, Gloriosa, Allium, Nerin, and uh, Tri, Triti. I don't know how to read this. Let me show you also some flowers that are already in bloom in our garden, like these uh, hyacinth. We also have uh, narcisi. And look at these. It's like a flower cloud. plant this one. This is uh, Aquilegia with a mix of colors, gorgeous colors. We are now planting the new vine grapes. In a couple of years they will produce four different types of grapes that we can eat during the fall season. Sta controllando. Vedo. Prendilo, prendilo. Prendilo, Giottina. <laughs> And here we are, one, two, three, four. We decided to buy the wisteria plants to climb up on our future gazebo, which we didn't choose yet. We looked on Facebook marketplace and on other marketplaces on the web to find the perfect gazebo for our vineyard. And finally we found it. It was in the garden of an old villa, it has this amazing vintage vibe and it has a very heavy structure. It seemed exactly what I wanted. We also got the floor tiles and now we need to level up the ground in order to build the floor for our vintage gazebo. Tipo si apre tutto d'un colpo. Woo! Uh, 
The grapevines are blooming now and they seem healthier than how they were last year. Look, the baby grapevines are growing their leaves. They are very strong. Here you see Fabiano, my father and I working to build the gazebo. It has been challenging, but also very fun. <laughs> and we are very satisfied of the final results. So if you are curious, just keep on watching. Finally, summer has arrived. Our flourishing vineyard is amazing. Next year, I will plant the baby grapevines because there are still many empty spaces between the plants. Growing a garden is a long journey and it never ends. And here it is. Our gazebo is complete and it is so beautiful. We are so happy to have it and uh, we are happy to have this shaded area in the middle of this super sunny garden. vintage pieces, uh, maybe uh, vintage furniture pieces uh, or decorations uh, to uh, style it. If you like this kind of content, please give this video a big thumbs up so I will make uh, other videos about our garden renovation project. Also write me down in the comments if you have a garden too, maybe if you have thrifted pieces in your garden and uh, I would like to know about your experience too. 
If you follow my channel, you know that I'm planning to hold a flower power party here in the garden with all our friends and this will be the perfect location for it. Of course, you are invited to join us virtually to the party, so stay tuned, maybe subscribe to my channel, it is absolutely free and you will receive a notification when I upload a new video. This is all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, even if it was a little different from the other ones. Please remember to give it a thumbs up because this will really help my channel to grow. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!